So the first thing which we're going to do is our face. And so what we're looking for is either a tinted moisturizer or a light makeup foundation. So today I'm going to show you because with the tinted moisturizer, all you need to do is just apply a layer and that'll be it. But with foundation to get a really nice glowy finish, we need a light makeup with an SPF and this one has SPF 15. And this one is also a pore refining one so it won't clog your pores. And so how we're going to get a really nice dewy finish with the foundation, which we won't get if we don't use a tinted moisturizer, is we can either mix a little bit of um, skin lights and so this is a little bit of bronzer and highlighter combined and this one is by Revlon. I'm not too sure whether this product has been discontinued now because I know a lot of people have been telling me it has been and I haven't been able to find in shops but if you mix it with any highlighting um, potion or anything like that so it's just a very shimmery lotion that we need to mix a little bit. What you can also do is mix a little bit of your foundation with some moisturizer and that will just give you a very nice and dewy finish. So I'm going to Okay, so I have my one pump of foundation and I'm just going to mix that with a little bit of moisturizer, so not too much, just to give it a really nice dewy finish. And because I have this, I'm just going to also mix very one pump, as you can see it's the dark solution at the top here. And the reason I'm only mixing a very slight amount is because you don't want your face being too sparkly, but you do want a really nice glow. So that's just a combination of different products to give yourself a really nice dewy finish for summer. And so I'm just going to dot the product around my face and then I'm going to use my fingers to blend it in. You can use brushes but this is also fine. And so we just want to make sure that we're getting it everywhere. Remember to blend it in at your chin, bring it down. And also remember to apply a primer before you um, apply any foundation to your face as it just creates a layer and it will stop your pores from getting clogged. Okay, so now we're going to go on to bronzer and I'm going to be using just a kind of thick, dense brush like the Duo Fiber Sigma brush. And I'm just going to grab some bronzer and we just want to apply a little bit of bronzer just to give ourselves a really nice glowy um, sun-kissed type look. So the areas which we want to concentrate on are our forehead area, down the nose, to the chin, the underneath the eyebrow or the highlight colour and then just to the cheek area. And so we just want to buff this colour in, make sure that it's blended. Hint of colour in those areas. I'm just going to grab a little extra bronzer and using just an angled face brush like the Sigma SS168, I'm going to contour my cheeks a little bit just to give myself more of a bronzed look. And so we're just drawing a line. If you just Suck your face and you'll see a line and we're just going to draw this line up. And so this is just creating another bone or jawline, cheekbone area. And I'm also just going to bring it up onto the forehead and then I'll blend it out later. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with my brush and now I'm just going to blend this out to make sure that it all looks nice and blended. I'm using a highlight powder like Revlon Skin Lights in the highlighting and it's just a loose powder like this. I'm just going to grab my brush one last time. We don't want too much and we're going to apply a little bit to the cheeks and I'm just going to brush it upwards into the hairline. Also on the other side. And this just gives you a really nice glow and I think it just completes any look. And we're also just going to apply a little bit to the forehead, just through the centre, down the nose, to the chin. And this is just to awaken the face and to have those areas highlighted. And also underneath the eyebrows, the highlight colour, we want just a little bit of highlight through that area.
Okay, so that's with the base. And so now what we're going to do is for our blush and our lip colour, we can use a lip tint or we can also go for some, a cheaper option, which is the Nivea Care Lips. And so it's just in a lip balm like this. And this colour is in cherry, so it's a really nice reddy, pinky type look. And the reason I like this colour is because it gives a very nice um, popsicle um, stained type lip. And again, if you have your lip stain, then you can use that. But I know probably many people have some sort of lip balm like this, which will work just as well. And so it's just going to give us a little colour into our lips. And we're also going to use this to give us a little colour into our cheek area. So all we want to do is just rub a little bit onto our finger. And then lightly dop that onto our cheek area. So just smile. And just rub it up. And remember to blend it all the way to the hairline because we don't want just an excess of colour in one area. And we're dotting just because since I've already applied my foundation, I don't want to rub that off. So that's why I'm just going to dot this colour into that area. And I'm also just going to do this side. And so just try getting some colour onto your fingers and then just dot some on. And this just gives a really nice hint of colour through your cheeks. And it's also a simple way because you can just carry one lip gloss around and it can serve for two uses so you don't have to carry a blush around. So now onto the eyes. I'm going to do a really soft neutral look for you guys just because in summer I don't like to go with too much colour and it's just so that if it runs or anything like that you won't be able to really tell because it's going to be a very neutral look. So that's why it's a very um, easy and comfortable look. The colour which we'll begin using is just this one on the top of the Coastal Scents 88 palette. So it's just in the top left hand corner. Using Sigma's SS239 brush I'm just going to pat that colour all over the eyelid as well as underneath the eyebrow. Okay, so once we have that colour patted onto our eyelid as well as underneath our eyebrow, I'm just going to come in with our angled brush again. And because we use this as a bronzer brush, I'm just going to go over our eyeshadow, just ensuring that it's all blended. And From our 88 palette, we're going to be using this dark brown colour, so it's so it's the second column, third row from the bottom. So it's just this really nice darkish browny colour. So using our Sigma SS224, which is just a big dome crease brush, I'm going to be applying that colour just into this area. And I don't want to be too precise with this area and I also want to just triangle it out a little bit. So we're just going to start from the outer edge of our eye, bring it up into the crease line and then just bring it at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so as you can see, now that we have a slight arch in our crease line through the brown eyeshadow, I'm going to come in with our angled brush again, which has a little bit of our bronze and highlight colour on. And I'm just going to use this brush to blend it out because this is a quicker option than using our crease brush. And also because as we have colour already on this brush, we can just blend it out and make sure that there's no definite lines or definite colour transition line our eyes with a little bit of black on our eyeliner pencil. Nice outline of our eyes using the black eyeliner. I'm going to come in and using our Coastal Sense 88 palette, I'm going to grab this colour which is in the second row, three, six column. Last step which we want to do is just grabbing a nicer, kind of a whitish tinge, bluey, aqui type colour like this one and it's in the first row, six columns, so it's just above the blue one that I just used. I'm going to apply this colour just into our water duct area, so just into this area here, just to give the eyes a little more colour and just to kind of make them stand out a little bit more. Brush, And we're just going to lightly dab this colour into that water duct area. Okay, so the second last step is just to make sure that we've wiped away any excess or fallout from our eyeshadow. So I'm just going to again use our bronzer brush and just go over underneath our eyes. 
Okay, so the last step of this tutorial is to apply a little bit of waterproof mascara. So I'm going to be using the Extra Extra Large Maybelline New York Waterproof Mascara. This mascara just to the outer lashes because if you remember when we were doing our eyeshadow, we made it into a nice um, triangle arch. So we just want to make sure that the eyelashes follow that arch and that's why we're just going to apply them from about halfway to the outer edge. Okay, so the very last thing in this video is just going to be a little outfit of the day and also just a little suggestion with perfumes. So seeing as it's summer and you're wearing really fresh and bright makeup, happy, and your outfits are really nice and um, warm weather, you're definitely wanting to spice up your scent with a little bit of a nice floral summery scent. So I'd recommend something either as DKNY Apple or this one is just a little bit different. This one is from the Harajuku Lovers Sunshine Cuties line and this perfume is the love one. And this is just a very fruity, summery floral scent and it comes in a really cute small bottle like this so you can carry it anywhere that you go with you because it doesn't weigh too much so that's just to spice up your scent a little bit and make you smell really nice and then the second thing would just be a quick outfit so if we're going to the beach or to a festival to a theme park um, out for the day where you might get wet or something like that what I'd recommend is I'm absolutely love in love with one piece swimsuits swimsuits in many different types of um, colors and designs and everything this is just a very basic navy blue um, t-shirt type one piece swimsuit it's a basic navy um, swimsuit and I've paired it with some cut off denim black denim shorts and so you can go with any color denim shorts you want. These ones are slightly destroyed just to get the vintage grunge. And with Drew all I've had it is with a really nice big um, metal type ring, butterfly and then some summery bracelets with a little bit of blue and color through them to give the outfit a little bit of color and so with these type of outfits you can pair any um, one piece swimsuit you have with a pair of shorts and that's just a very simple and quick way to um, dress up for the summer because if you're going to the beach then you don't want to really be carrying two sets of um, bathing suit and clothing so this is just a really quick way of how you can spice up any outfit and it's also perfect for if you're going to a theme park so if you get wet then you don't have to worry because you'll dry off really quickly because you're wearing your um, bathers. So that's just a really quick outfit of the day, hopefully you enjoyed it. Okay, so that's the end of my summer makeup tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and you'll be able to put it to good use. I hope everyone enjoys their summer and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!